Hello viewers, this is Lee and Dee back again with another local fruit tree nursery at Rainer's Flea Market, which is located 20 miles outside of Orlando, Florida. Okay, so here we go. They have some pretty decent prices here. You really have to look at the size of, of the trees. If you look at that rootstock, it's nice and thick. And majority of the trees are already fruiting. So when you're paying this price right here, you're going to have a tree that's going to be fruiting the following year. Here also, um, you can barter down some of the fruit um, tree prices with him. And the more items you buy, the bigger of a discount he will give you. So he'll work with you with the prices. And there's some pretty decent prices here. We get our fruit trees from him a lot. This time around, he has some bigger fruit trees. Like I said, these fruit trees are already fruiting, and a lot of them will be fruiting um, early next year. We usually purchase smaller ones, but he's pretty decent on his prices. Okay, and as I'm doing this video, I'm trying to do it on a little bit of the down low. So, of course, I'm not going to be walking around with a selfie stick. So, it will be a pretty shaky video at times. But I'm trying not to be so obvious as I'm recording. And trying to bring in this information on fruit trees, prices, and places in Central Florida where you can purchase some fruit trees at a decent budget. When you get um, to these type of nurseries, they're not the big box nurseries, which will charge you three times as much as what he's charging you. So these nurseries are smaller nurseries. Um, they use usually one or two people running these on the side so they can afford to bother with you with prices. So you're not going to see all the neatly lined, beautiful rolls of everything. So you have to, you know, look a little bit more when you're going into these nurseries. But as you can see, a lot of these fruit trees actually have fruit on them. Like I said, he works pretty good with you. The guy that sells them, we get a lot of stuff from him. And if we buy two or three trees, we have saved as much as 30 to $40 by getting these trees. And we usually get smaller ones. This time around, he has a lot of big trees that he's trying to go ahead and unload. So I'm quite sure you can get a deal have to bring that price down price tag down even the one that you're looking at when you're going for these trees I mean what I mainly like to look at is the rootstock part of the tree the nice thickness of it because for central Florida we get hurricanes and you want to make sure that you have I would rather have short stocky trees than long um, stringy looking trees so I usually go a lot for the rootstock um, the thickness of that rootstock because if that's a when I buy it if it's already thick like that it's going to be I mean it's going to do you a lot better as it's growing if it's already there so what you're paying for is you're paying for when you when you're looking at those prices that say 150 or 160 that you probably can probably get from 130 that he'll get it, give them to you you look at the size of the tree. That tree is fully grown. So you don't have to do very much but bring it home and put it in the ground or put it in a big pot or whatever you know you decide to do with it. So make sure that you remember that. Don't just look at and say, oh, 165 or 155 is a lot. The tree is fully grown. The ones that he's showing right now, we usually get um, the smaller trees from him. Um, $35, $40, the ones we usually get, which are smaller and not as thick. He, I mean, we still get some thick rootstocks, but these trees that we've seen today, they are fully grown trees. So, of course, bring a truck with you or something that you can actually carry the trees in. We do it in our Nissan Altima. We just put the tree in a garbage bag with the base and all. Flip it over, put it right in the trunk, lay the seats back, just lay the seats down, and we get that tree home. That's how my whole backyard has become full of trees with a Nissan Ultima. So I'm quite sure you could do it with whatever you're using.
unless it's a smart car. So yeah, just bringing you here so you can see some of the you know, fruits that he has, papayas, sugar apples, um, mangoes, sour sops. He had pineapples, blackberries, guava, trees, um, a variety, Barbados cherry trees, um, Jamaican cherry trees. He had persimmon trees, fig trees. I mean, it goes on and on and, you know, I'm just mainly pushing this camera around so that you can see as much as you can without me trying to be too obvious of what I'm doing. As you can see, the hubby's in front of me because he has to clear the path for me because I don't walk into too many jungle-like places without him in front of me. I haven't seen any snakes, but I am petrified of snakes. So he'll clear the path for me in most bulky nurses we go to. And so far, it's been pretty good. So this is the tour, the local tour. I'm going to be doing many more um, local tours of places where I go buy fruit trees in the central Florida area. That's kind of affordable and hopefully this helps you a lot if you ever decide to come to Central Florida to give the smaller folks a try and hopefully you have a nice day. Hit that subscribe button, notification bell, have a nice day. Peace be with you. Goodbye.